Hello students, I hope that you are getting benefits of our videos. So today we, I will continue with the colligative properties. In the last video, I explained to you the two colligative properties relative in vapor pressure and elevation in boiling point. Today I will start with the third colligative property that is depression in freezing point. Before we understand this colligative property, I will explain you what is freezing point. So, freezing point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of any substance in liquid state is equal to vapor pressure of that substance in solid state. It means if we consider water. At 0 degree Celsius, these two states will exist, water as well as ice. So, the vapor pressure on water will be equal to the vapor pressure on ice. And ice will have the same vapor pressure. I think in your daily observations, you all have noticed that when you open the freezer of your fridge, you find that there are some vapors coming out from the ice. What are those vapors? They are the vapors of ice. So, at 0 degree Celsius, the vapor pressure over ice will be equal to the vapor pressure on water. So, that particular point is called freezing point. That's why we call 0 degree Celsius is the freezing point of water or 0 degree Celsius is the melting point of ice because at 0 degree Celsius both the states exist at equilibrium. So this is the concept of freezing point. We should understand that both will have equal vapor pressure. So uh, because depression uh, in freezing point is a colligative property so, it means it will depend on number of solute particles, not on their nature. So, how the freezing point decreases, I will explain you with the help of a graph. If we plot a graph between temperature and in vapor pressure, so how we will understand this graph, you have to uh, uh, see it very carefully. That uh, because freezing point uh, it tells about the two states liquid and solid. So in the, this graph there will be two states. So for the first state that is liquid state. Uh, suppose we are talking about liquid solvent. So how we will study this graph. For liquid solvent when we decrease temperature the vapor pressure decreases. Very simple daily life observation that for any liquid when you decrease temperature the vapor uh, vapors formation will be reduced and vapor pressure will decrease so see the graph when we are decreasing temperature the vapor pressure is decreasing so this is liquid solvent okay and for that frozen solvent how we will study this graph that frozen solvent will always be of course at lower temperature so at lower temperature the solvent will be uh, at frozen form and when you will increase the temperature suppose for ice uh, we are starting with minus 40 degree celsius and now we are increasing temperature minus 40 minus 30 minus 20 minus 10 minus 5 minus 2 minus 1 and at 0 degree celsius what will happen the vapor pressure of this is if it is frozen solvent frozen solvent so this is h2o solid this is h2o liquid so at this particular temperature both are having a fixed vapor pressure equal vapor pressure so that particular corresponding temperature will be called freezing temperature ft and because this is of solvent so that would be denoted by not so tf not is the freezing point of 
solvent i think you are getting this point for liquid solvent you have to move down you with re reducing temperature the vapor pressure is reducing and for frozen solvent you are increasing temperature minus 40 minus 30 minus 20 minus 10 minus 5 4 3 2 0 so zero state both will have equal vapor pressure so this is the concept of freezing point so this is for solvent and for solution you all know solutions will always have lower vapor pressure than sol solvent so for this solution this curve will be little bit lower than the solvent curve and this curve is for solution now see for if you are dissolving uh, salt in water the uh, the vapor pressure see at 0 degree celsius if this is 0 degree celsius so at 0 degree celsius this vapor pressure is not matching with the vapor pressure of frozen state so where you will uh, meet this line uh, you have to lower down the temperature so at this particular temperature these two states solid state and liquid states are matching their freeze, uh, vapor pressure so that corresponding temperature would be called Tf, this is freezing temperature of solution. So we have reduced our temperature from here to here. So this is the concept of depression in freezing point. This is the change, depression in freezing point, lowering of freezing point and lowering of freezing point, Tf0 and this would be Tf0 minus Tf. This is depression in freezing point, change in freezing point so uh, see in daily life application it has very good uh, application in your daily life that um, uh, one one more question always uh, comes in uh, your board exam that how uh, can you clear the roads uh, in hilly areas while during snowfall so see what happens uh, that um, um, snow or ice exist at uh, zero degree celsius and uh, how can you remove the snow on hilly areas by sprinkling uh, some salt or because salt may be costly so by sprinkling lime lime powder okay so what happens because when you sprinkle salt or lime in it the water because zero degree celsius there is water there is ice so water will dissolve uh, uh, salt in it that um, and uh, and its melting point uh, its freezing point will be reduced now this water which is containing salt in it what you have added uh, so salt in it so this water will not freeze at zero degree celsius suppose it will freeze at minus two degree celsius so if the uh, near uh, by temperature is zero degree celsius and this I water is not going to freeze at zero degree celsius because now we have reduced its freezing point minus two degree celsius so all the ice or uh, this equilibrium will come here and all the ice will melt to water but the water will not be able to convert into ice because uh, you have reduced its freezing point by adding some uh, salt in it because you have converted solvent into solution and the vapor pressure is reducing and that's why the freezing point is reducing so this is very important daily life application and you all must have heard about uh, this all weather road of char dham yatra so uh, the, the roads are formed in this way that there may be some salt in the ro uh, road um, whatever concrete and whenever snow falls on it uh, that converts into solution form and since it reduces its uh, freezing point so that snow uh, doesn't get uh, um, uh, frozen in the frozen state and you all all time get the clear road so this is the concept of uh, we can use in all uh, weather roads so this is very important daily life application of depression in freezing point so very very important one then another one more uh, question that uh, is uh, coming that why do we add glycol you all know that this is glycol ch2oh ch2 which glycol is added in car radiators uh, during uh, winter time in hilly areas because you know car radiator has water in it and if your car goes to hilly areas where the temperature is near about zero degree celsius the water can freeze and car radiator may jam so you put ethyl alcohol in that car radiator so the freezing point of water reduces and now water will not freeze at zero degree celsius it will require more temperature to uh, to be in solid state and uh, you uh, your radiator can easily work car radiator can work in presence of water so this is the daily life application of depression in freezing point i think you all are getting it 
and uh, because this is a colligative property so definitely and again we are dealing with temperature so you know that for very dilute solution uh, depression freezing point would be uh, it is experimentally observed that that is proportional to molality of the solution yesterday i explained you why don't we take term molarity because whenever we are dealing with temperature molarity depends on volume so it may change volume may change with temperature that's why we study all such um, observations by taking molality because it again shows the number of moles of solute in weight of solvent so weight doesn't change with temperature okay so del tf there would be one constant kf into m now this kf is called molal freezing uh, depression constant or the another name like kb is called bullioscopy constant kf is called cryoscopic constant so one mark definition if it comes how will you define cryoscopic constant kf ko aap kaise define karenge so what is kf if the molality of solution is one one molal solution if you are taking so whatever the depression in freezing point that would be called the cryoscopic constant of that particular solvent okay so cryoscopic constant is the depression in freezing point for one molal solution so very important while solving numericals you can calculate or you can uh, further divide the molality this way so you will get the final formula in books that tf equals to kf into now molality means number of moles of solute so number of moles of solute uh, weight of solute upon molar mass of solute so now here i am writing here bb b for solute and a weight of solvent so weight of solvent is denoted by a and if it is in gram so you will multiply this 1000 so i am replacing this m by these four terms wb upon mb into 1000 upon wa kf is same so this is the final formula for depression in freezing point okay so very uh, three marks numerical come out of either from this or you can write the same formula for tb uh, del tb equals to kb into wb upon mb into 1000 upon wa the formula will remain same now see del tb either when you are calculating del tb or del tf you need not to see its unit whether del tb or tf suppose del tb is given 0.25 degree celsius so what would be the value of del tb in kelvin of course it would be 0.25 kelvin by because this is the difference and difference will remain same in both the scale so Uh, what happens okay, when it, it numerical comes that uh, uh, del tf is given in 0.25 degrees celsius while kf is given in what would be if i ask you what is, would be the unit of kf so how will you say the unit of kf tf ki unit hogi kelvin or m ki unit kya hogi what would be unit of m that is mole per kg so what would be the unit of kf kf will have unit kelvin kilogram per mole so what happens when the question comes that del tf is 0.25 degree celsius and kf is uh, suppose kf is 1.86 kelvin kilogram per mole so find the molality if it is a simple way so what uh, children think that it is given in kelvin while this del t is given in degree celsius so they convert this degree celsius into kelvin and the whole uh, numerical gets wrong why because this is del tf so you have to do that uh, del tf is uh, uh, 0.25 degree celsius or equals to 0.25 kelvin so this is the same because difference will remain same so ye point bahut important hai isko numerical karte samay change nahi karna that uh, difference will remain same तो इसको बहुत ध्यान से करना है और न्यूमेरिकल में मेरे को आपको एक इम्पोर्टेंट बात बताना था कि न्यूमेरिकल में वो क्या चीज बोल सकता है वो अगर आपसे पूछेगा इसके लिए तो इसके लिए लैंग्वेज हो गई फाइंड द डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट है ना ये पूछेगा फाइंड द डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट और कई बार वो दो स्टेप के न्यूमेरिकल पूछता है फाइंड द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट मतलब डेल टी एफ तो पूछता ही है और फिर पूछता है फाइंड द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सोल्यूशन मतलब वो टी एफ भी पूछता है है ना 
तो डेल टी एफ तो आप इस फॉर्मूले से निकालेंगे क्योंकि सब कुछ दिया रहेगा तो डेल टी एफ आप निकाल लेंगे और टी एफ कैसे निकालेंगे फिर इस फॉर्मूले से निकालेंगे तब जब आप टी एफ निकालेंगे तो टी एफ नॉट कितना लेंगे बच्चों टी एफ नॉट इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ वाटर सो जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस और कैलविन में होता है वो टू सेवेंटी थ्री कैलविन जनरली हम लोग कहते हैं लेकिन इन सब न्यूमेरिकल्स में ध्यान रखना कि आप हर बार कितनी वैल्यू लेना टू सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव कैलविन वाई क्योंकि पॉइंट वन फाइव यहाँ पे जो डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट होता है कई बार आंसर पॉइंट में आते हैं पॉइंट फाइव टू पॉइंट नाइन जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो अगर आप पॉइंट नाइन जीरो में से पॉइंट वन फाइव छोड़ देंगे तो डिफरेंट मतलब आपका आंसर में वेरिएशन बढ़ जाएगा सो दिस पॉइंट शुड बी केप्ट इन माइंड दैट वाइल यू विल टेक टी एफ नॉट दैट इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट सो यू हैव टू टेक टू सेवेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन फाइव कैन विन सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉलिकेटिव प्रॉपर्टी थर्ड वी विल सी द फोर्थ कॉलिकेटिव प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर In lower classes, you all have studied what is osmosis. So I I am again um, explaining you what is osmosis. For osmosis, two things are required. What two things are required? Number one, the two solutions having different concentration, and number two, this semi permeable membrane. ओके सो सपोज इन दिस चेम्बर सेपरेटेड बाय सेमी परमेबल मेम्ब्रेन इन वन कंपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन सॉल्वेंट ओके वी हैव टेकन सॉल्वेंट एंड इन अनदर कंपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन सॉल्यूशन सपोज ब्राइन सॉल्यूशन नमक का घोल रखा हुआ है सो दिस इज सॉल्यूशन नाउ सेमी परमेबल मेम्ब्रेन हैज अ स्पेशल फीचर दैट इट कैन अलाउ ओनली स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स to move across it while it uh, retains the flow of bigger molecules so here we will consider that it is allowing only the solvent molecules to move so the solvent molecules will move and uh, what is osmosis if i say that define osmosis so you say osmosis is the flow of solvent molecules from solvent side to solution side through semi permeable membrane okay so this is the concept of osmosis now come to osmotic pressure when any liquid flows it means it flows with some pressure so when solvent molecules are leaving this compartment and moving here and this process will continue till both the कंपार्टमेंट विल हैव सेम कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ये आपको पता होगा कि ये तब तक मूवमेंट होता रहेगा जब तक दोनों का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सेम ना हो जाए सो दिस सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स आर मूविंग विद सम प्रेशर एंड दैट प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड सॉल्वेंट दैट प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर नाउ हाउ विल बी मेजर दिस प्रेशर इसके लिए अगर हम देखें कि बोथ द बोथ द कंपार्टमेंट्स आर फीलिंग आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग वन प्रेशर एंड दैट प्रेशर इज पी ए टी एम मतलब कि दोनों ही लिक्विड एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर को तो फील कर ही रहे हैं पी ए टी एम फील कर रहे हैं ठीक है अब अगर इफ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट अगर मैं एस पी एम अभी हटा दू आप समझ तो गए हैं सो so, अगर आप चाह रहे हैं कि आपको पता चले कि किस प्रेशर से सॉल्वेंट इस तरफ आ रहा है तो उसको नापने का एक तरीका है कि आप इस तरफ प्रेशर लगाएं इतना प्रेशर लगाएं जो कि इधर से आने वाले प्रेशर के बराबर हो और सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स का फ्लो रुक जाए तो यू विल अप्लाई सम एक्स्ट्रा प्रेशर दिस इज कॉल्ड पी एक्सटर्नल एक्स्ट्रा प्रेशर आप लगाएंगे कितना प्रेशर आप लगाएंगे उतना लगाएंगे कि सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स का फ्लो यहां से रुक जाए यहां से अब कोई सॉल्वेंट मॉलिक्यूल ना आए सो दिस प्रेशर वुड इज डिनोटेड बाय पाई एंड दिस पाई इज कॉल्ड ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर सो हाउ विल वी डिफाइन ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर ओपी को कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे इट इज द एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर अप्लाइड ऑन सोल्यूशन साइड विच प्रिवेंट्स the process of osmosis it is the external pressure additional pressure applied on additional q kyunki dono hi pe hi uh, atmospheric pressure to lag hi raha tha it is the additional pressure applied on solution side which stops the process of osmosis or which stops the flow of solvent molecules from solvent side to solution side so this is osmotic pressure ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी है बच्चों और 
osmotic pressure um, uh, experiments have shown that uh, this osmotic pressure phi is uh, directly proportional to molarity of solution that a concentration of solution in molarity and uh, to, uh, at a particular temperature and uh, uh, that when we remove it we molarity is converted in number of moles upon volume of solution in liter and to remove this sign uh, we put one constant and you all know that constant is R that is gas constant okay so R is the gas constant so see this is the same formula like uh, you uh, have studied PV equals to NRT so P is replaced by osmotic pressure so P NRT so this is formula if you want to replace this N so pi would be equal to pi V equals to WB moles of solute upon molar mass of solute so this is the number of moles volume of solution uh, in liter if you are taking in liter then no need to make any other further change so this is the uh, sorry uh, you this is uh, v because you are taking your v so this is the formula of pi equals to this in charo colligative properties ka significance kya hai ab ye kyunki hum sab charo colligative property padh chuke hain charo ke char formula hum padh chuke hain so what is the significance of um, uh, all these properties in sabhi properties ka significance ye hai to find the molar mass of unknown solute ab jo dekhiye molar mass aap bolenge itna sara hum padhenge aur kya nikal rahe hain molar mass of unknown solute to molar mass to hum formula dekar bhi nikal sakte hain ki agar glucose ka molar mass nikalna hai so glucose you will uh, add all the atomic mass and you will get the molar mass 180 gram per mole सो so, मैं बात कर रही हूँ अननोन सोल्यूट की सपोज इफ आई से दैट टुडे आई हैव फाउंड वन काइंड ऑफ प्रोटीन इन फ्रॉम वन फ्रॉम वन पल्स और वन पल्स और सम वन प्लांट If I have got one protein and that is unknown protein, I don't know its formula, I don't know its structure, so that would be called unknown. So what I will do? I will make its solution, protein solution, and I will find the osmotic pressure. so uh, by suppose i am dissolving 2 g of that unknown protein so i will put here 2 i will get the i will get the pi value by experimentation and i will put the value so i will get the molar mass of that unknown protein what i discovered from any particular pulse so mm, mm, that is the significance of all colligative properties that we can find the molar mass of unknown solute okay so one major thing here out of all these four colligative property this is the best property best property preferred way to find the molar mass of unknown solute why see because uh, the first is relative lowering in vapor pressure dusra elevation in boiling point tisra depression in freezing point thi ye to inko acha kyun nahi mante नंबर वन आप देखिए ये सब या तो ये दोनों हायर टेम्परेचर में काम कर रहे हैं और ये बहुत एक्सट्रीम लोअर टेम्परेचर में काम कर रहा है तो एक्सपेरिमेंट्स को कब करना आसान होता है व्हेन यू कैन परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट एट रूम टेम्परेचर सो दीज आर वेरी इम्प्रैक्टिकल वेज टू फाइंड दैट थिंग एंड द सेकेंड थिंग वेन वी आर स्टडिंग बायोमोलिक्यूल्स तो आपको पता है कि बायोमोलिक्यूल जैसे प्रोटीन है तो वो हाई टेम्परेचर में भी डीनेचर्ड हो जाते हैं लो टेम्परेचर में भी डीनेचर्ड हो जाते हैं सो दीज मैथड्स आर नॉट सुटेबल फॉर सच बायोमोलिक्यूल्स ओके सो So, uh, which is the best method for determining molar mass of unknown solute that is osmotic pressure so very often this question comes in exam that uh, why osmotic pressure method is preferred over other colligative measurements so this is all about colligative properties okay so you have to uh, practice all such numericals and if you uh, if you face any doubt you can contact me on personal number if i will get so many calls and messages then i will clear your doubts in the next videos thank you all